It's pretty wacky that it's our 10th anniversary and I'm not even 30 yet. Welcome to Deer Tick Bizarro World. This is not the show. This is my girl, yeah. I'm a road warrior. The voice that came out of him, it was kind of shocking. Who the fuck is this kid? I always wanted it to be a band. When I would play a lot of shows solo, it was only because I couldn't find the right musicians to play with. He asked me to join the band by saying, you want a Deer Tick email address? <laughs> I don't think I ever actually joined the band. I don't think I ever said yes. We played a shit ton together, and then we kind of finally um, nailed down who we are as a band. We're not really an indie band anymore. Now we're like a cult band. <laughs> The Deer Ticks from Rhode Island. Now I just go to somebody's apartment and do cocaine. What is going on? What is this place for you? That was just drugs, drugs, drugs. He was at a place of, I'm a stronger candidate to die early than maybe my peers are. Around the time I turned 27, I finally admitted it. Everybody in this room is part of all the fun that we've been having for a decade. When you look at bands like Deer Tick, there's this deep regard for the tradition of songwriting. And I think that's something that is just ingrained in that band. I'm just glad you're all here to celebrate with us. Ten years. Happy Deer Tick. Thank you.